222 today, we will talk about XLM, but we will talk about an L2 that is called AFRIUM, and its ticker is AFR. Now, it is a payments and DeFi oriented L2 on XLM that is concentrating on the very large and untapped African economy which shouldn't really surprise anyone who is familiar with the roots of XLM, which is trying to bank the unbanked, and they have been concentrating on Africa a whole lot. Here is a picture of um, their partner Idris Elba, and they were talking about uh, financial inclusion of I'm going to say that Ghanaian, I know how to pronounce that country, but not that, and concentrating on the creative arts and devising ways to integrate them into the worldwide financial ecosystem. What is, what is Afrium? Well, I was a little uh, suspicious of this when I first heard of it. But I came across an old map from the XX account that is actually talking about it. And it is painting it in a pretty interesting light, especially with its ties back into to XLM. And there are a number of CBDC projects that are integrating the largely untapped African economy and even has some involvement with with XRP to a handful of these different projects too. I have known that XLM has been concentrating on Africa for a long time now, and I wasn't really too hyped up about a lot of that concentration, not because of the idea, but because I didn't really see a short to midterm impact for the price of XLM with how much regulation that the remittances and cross border payments concentration could actually bring to XLM. However, because of Afrium, I'm now wondering if it's not XLM directly that will be the key project for the entire African economy and if that will actually be AFR which has a lot of potential to accrue in price in my own humble opinion. And here is a post from the 15th of February 2024 where they were actually over in Africa uh, at an event there and were really concentrating on it a whole lot and really marketing around it. With their rebrand in September or October of 2023, they had partnered up with Idris Elba talking about concentrating on banking the unbanked and concentrating on Africa in particular. So the ties into what Afrium is, which is an L2 on XLM, have been pretty interesting for me. And especially once I found this map from XX that c connected it with so many very large financial institutions and pilots and projects. In short, the Afrium ecosystem will create tailor-made interoperability for unbanked people and companies with AFR and AFRX, 155 flexible country tokens, 155, can't say ST, and a suite of DeFi and payments apps concentrating on the African e economy. It also looks as if it could be a leaping giant. T -t Tokenomics are good. We've got about uh, 7.3 billion tokens and about 5.6 out there right now. 
and it only has a six million dollar market cap it is an anchor on the xlm network which will be working directly with businesses and customers the l2 anchors will be responsible for bringing value to the xlm blockchain comparable to shx and once i reviewed more of the material on their site i immediately made a comparison to how afrium may be the shx of africa so here is a post uh reminding us that 77 percent of afr is in circulating supply and if you count tokens reserved for the foundation that goes up to 100 percent so if you go on can't say st's expert then it has more information on a frame here it seems as if uh, the amount of users went way up in 2021 and 2022 and it has began to tick up again i don't like to look at charts on here because it has a lot of uh, anomalies on this site but here is the max chart on coin gecko and it only goes back until uh september of 2021 but it did have an all-time high of around 0.19 cents and we are at about 0.12 right now but with the untapped value that this project actually has combined with what xlm has done by introducing on-chain contracts that are much quicker and ch cheaper c compared to ETH, then I think that there is p potential here for a pretty good re return on what I have put in. So here's an example of a few of the c country specific tokens. And I will explain more about that here in a bit. Here is the Aphrium site, and it's actually a pretty well put together site. And if you click around on here, then it actually opens up the white paper for AFR. And what got me comparing it to SHX was the talk about what's involved in the overall Afrium ecosystem. So it includes a liquidity engine, um, which explains the equations and everything, which I'm not about to touch on here, and savings and loans, which sounds a lot like the merchant financing program of SHX. And you've got uh, it running on mobile apps and you have remittances and a merchant program just like what SHX has and a peer-to-peer -peer exchange and a game engine which is concentrating on educational games aimed at African people. So all of this is a really interesting ecosystem that is very surprising in my opinion for a token and a project that hasn't really gotten out there yet so here are what apps are in the overall aphrium ecosystem now it has a wallet you can earn up to 10 percent apy you, you can put them into xlm AMM LPs, which will be expanded now that we, we actually have contracts on XLM and payments. Now, I have been continuously unimpressed with a lot of projects and companies' roadmaps because it seems like they don't ever get updated after a certain point. So here, it only ends up in Q1 of 2023 which makes me hesitate, but it also calls out that the country tokens are 100% backed by USDC, which 
we now know has a lot of ties into not only XLM, but into SHX. So to, to, token data here. Um, so according to their site, it is 100% circulating supply right now, which is actually explained more here. You've got 52% out there right now, 6% reserve, 12% foundation, 11% treasury, and 19% founders. So it is all out there and it is all uh, accounted for. And here are some more examples of to tokens in the Aphrium ecosystem. And it t t does have articles and things in there. So if you are interested, then it has some more information, but it seems as if all of them are from 2021.